Hi, I'm Shakira Lachey here at Revenge, the fashion magazine. I'm standing next to designer Mr. Von Jero Adams of Von Jero. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Well, I am just truly blessed to be standing next to you this evening. You have an amazing, amazing resume. Tell us a little bit about how you got your start. Well, first, let me say, Shakira, the pleasure is all mine. But um, I got started, um, I always had a passion for fashion. I grew up always wanting to be a designer. So I really took it serious and I allowed myself to do well. From there, I got a scholarship to the Fashion Institute of Technology and I excelled there. But what really got my start was when Russell Simmons and Allen Houston took note to not only my talent, but the fact that I wanted to transform it into an actual business. So that's what really got my start. Okay, businessman. Yes. <laughs> you know what it is? Because like a lot of the time you have designers and it's a hobby for them, but why not say something you're passionate about and also make it a business where you can employ yourself as well as, you know, others. Right. Now, I understand, which is very rare, very scarce. It's, it's almost extinct right now, but you have talent and skill. I understand that. Yes. Um, yes, I think that's great that you brought that up. You know, you have a lot of celebrities that think it's cool to be a designer. A designer. <laughs> so, you know, they, they, they hire the, the, the me's, the Von Jaros to sew up the dresses, but then they smack their name on it. Mm -hmm. But with myself, I actually sew, and then I actually actually do the marketing and do everything together. So it's all in one. So you just won't see me sketching. You actually see me literally on the sewing machine as well. Okay. And now while you're at your sewing machine, tell us a little bit about what inspires you. Well, I'm, I've always been inspired by the elegance and the sophistication of the women. Um, I'm inspired by like you know the icons, Lena Horne, the Dorji, the wow. you know Doris Days, the Audrey Hepburns. But what I find is that a lot of designers today, the styles have changed. You know, everything is punk rock, everything is edgy. So I feel that my designs convey the elegance of the woman. You know, the sophistication of the woman. You know, that way we could bring it back. Cause you know, it's sometimes it's nice to be girly, and we don't it see it. It is and classy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's what I really um portray through my designs and through my brand. So when you think about Von Jero, you think about the elegance, you think about class, you think about sophistication, but you can also be sexy as well. And sexy, definitely. I'm standing <laughs> next to uh, one of your models over here, and she looks. Fantabulous. Tell me a little bit about this ensemble here. Well, this is Amanda, and what I find is that women are beautiful, beautiful, so all I do is really enhance it. So my job is easy. She has on one of my cocktail dresses, mm -hmm. and it's very form-fitting, yet elegant. And if Amanda turns around, you can see that she can still be sexy and show a little back right. and a little touch this of little elegance. Detail back here. That's great. Yes. Okay, and now here over on my left, tell us a little bit. This is just and like, I'm here, <laughs> look at me, stare at me. Tell us and a wow, this it. is Lakita, and Lakita is wearing one of my couture gowns. Um, It's long, it's elegant, it's revealing, but yet classy and covering up all the, you know, right. or her goodies. She's <laughs> out, she's out there, but she's in there. Exactly. Like and if you notice, um, I love hand beading. I love to just have some headphones on. Okay. So I hand so bead the there. lace exactly, wow. which adds to it. And it feels like it was special because it's from the designer hands. I've also heard that you have a blog, um, blog out. And what's interesting is that it's not just, you know, I'm a designer. You know, my life is amazing right now. I understand you put you know, a little bit about your past up there when you're having a bad week and people are just all over your blog, you know what I mean, giving you encouragement and I think it's I think it's great. So You know what the the blog is great. I'm I must say I must give credit to my stylist who I work with, J. O. Osborne. He said to me, um, you know what, Vondro, you should have a blog. So I was like, A blog? Who blogs? Like, but little did I know everybody Everyone blogs. Does. <laughs> so I told myself if I do a blog, I wanna kinda do it differently. What we see is that when celebrities make it, we only see when they make it. So I thought it would be interesting if I come out with a blog that, you know, allow my fans and my viewers to see my journey to success. So I'm going to tell you the good, I'm going to tell you the bad, I'm going to tell you if I made it, I'm going to tell you if I had a bad day. And what I find is that it's, it's heavily, you know, supported. Um, I get over 3,000 hits a week. Wow. And people really just care and they read and I'm like, do they really care about what I do? They I do. do. And they and they do. <laughs> and not only do they care, they take the time out to actually send me messages that's heartfelt. And if I'm having a bad day, 
just the fact that they're there and they really care really helps me get through it. Well, I'm sure that you're you're helping the aspiring designer as well, um, because again, in, including the positive and the negative, is important because there are people out there with you know with dreams. So, what is some advice that you could give that aspiring designer who's they've had a bad year? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think the key to everyone's success, whether you're a designer, whether you're going into the office in the morning please make sure you are passionate about it. Because if you are passionate about it, it's more likely that you will stick with it because it's not going to be easy. The journey's not easy. Whoever lied to you and told you it was, they are just that lying. <laughs> you heard <So>, that. <laughs> just, be, just select something that you're passionate about, but also educate yourself on it because sometimes the talent is just not enough. Get that piece of paper to say that I can do this not only from your talent, and I think you'll be great. Oh, well, thank you all so much. I would like for you to give our viewers here your, your blog, get the address. Great. The blog is vongero.com forward slash blog. That is V A U G H N J E R E A U X dot com forward slash blog. Thank you so very much. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, I'm Shakira Lachey here at Revenge, the fashion magazine.